Hello everyone, my name is Lucy and I am here today to take you through a 30 minute slow flow. You can use this flow to unwind from your day to help you slow down or you can even use it in the morning to help you wake up. <laughs> However you like to flow, you can flow with us today. So we're going to start in a seated position on the mat, bringing your hands down to rest on the legs, sitting nice and tall in the spine. We're going to start with a couple of deep breaths just to get us grounded and to bring us into our space. So I just want you to take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Lovely. One more like that. Nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Now just take this moment to arrive in your space. And just start by taking a little body scan. So imagining a beam of light starting at your head, slowly running down through the entire body, all the way down to the toes. Not stopping anywhere in particular, but just allowing this scan to run down nice and smooth picking up on anything that you can feel in your body. Maybe you can just feel the weight of the body pressing against the floor or the mat. And just really checking in with how you feel today. How do you feel physically? Are there any thoughts running around in your head? Maybe a conversation that you had today, or maybe you're thinking about something that you've got to do tomorrow. And just know that even if it is just for these next 30 minutes, you, you can let all of that stuff go. And just really allow yourself to be here and be present on the mat with your breath. And we're going to be moving with the breath today. So we're going to be moving with the inhales and the exhales. And just know that everybody breathes at a different pace. So if your breath is not completely in time with me, that's absolutely fine. Just move at your own pace. Try to move with your breath, with your inhales and your exhales. And so we're just going to start today by setting an intention. And all that means is just thinking about something positive that you'd either like to bring into your practice today, into your flow, or maybe it's something that you'd like to bring into the rest of your day once you leave the mat. And that can be anything from just feeling a little more positive, maybe to feel calmer, or maybe it's to be grateful for someone or something in particular. Just make it personal to you, whatever it is, just start to draw that thought into your mind. I'm just gonna seal that intention with one last breath. So take a nice big inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Lovely. From here, just slowly start to open the eyes with a nice soft gaze. As you inhale, we're going to sweep both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to the heart. Inhale to reach both arms up. Exhale, bring your right fingertips down to the floor, left arm reaches up and over. You can bend this bottom arm if you want to. Take a nice deep side stretch. Take one more breath here, nice big inhale. As you exhale, roll your chest forward, sweep the arms across the floor in front of you and come all the way up to the other side. Really lifting that chest up towards the sky again, maybe bending that bottom arm. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, bring your back the way we came, roll the chest down, sweep the arms across the floor, inhale all the way up. And the last one, exhale to roll down, sweep the arms and inhale to reach that top arm up and over. Good, from here coming all the way back to the center. We're just gonna bring our fingertips down onto the floor, relax the shoulders, sit nice and tall in the spine. We're gonna start by rolling the head around in circles. So just nice slow circles here. And you can move in semi-circles or you can move in Full circles, whichever feels better for you. Just take it nice and slowly and make sure your shoulders are nice and heavy. If you are moving in semi-circles or full circles, you can start to move the opposite way now. Lovely. And then nice and slowly, just bring your head all the way back to the center. We're gonna roll over the legs now and come into your tabletop position. 
So just moving nice and slow, bring the hands down on the floor directly underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips, spread your fingers nice and wide. And we're going to start with some cats and cows just to warm up through the spine. So as you inhale, drop the belly down, lift the chest, lift the head. As you exhale, pull in from the belly as you round the spine and drop the head in between the arms. Good. Inhale, drop the belly down, gaze up towards the sky, nice big breath in. Exhale to round, really pushing into that space in between the shoulder blades. One more like that. Inhale, drop the belly and exhale to round. Now we're going to keep this movement with the breath. So inhale to drop the belly, gaze up towards the sky. And as you exhale, we're going to round your spine and press all the way back into a child's pose. Good. As you inhale, chest stays low to the floor as you come all the way up into your cow pose. Belly drops down. Exhale to round the spine. Press all the way back into your child's. One more like that. Inhale, chest low to the floor. Come forwards. Exhale to round. This time we're going to hold our child's pose. Draw your forehead down towards the ground. Maybe pick the fingertips up and tiptoe them a little bit towards the top of the mat, just to stretch through the spine a little bit deeper. Take a nice big inhale in and exhale out. Good. From here, walk your hands all the way back towards your knees. As you inhale, we're gonna sweep both arms up to the sky. As you exhale, cactus the arms, lift the chest and arch the spine. Good, we're gonna round through the spine, bring the elbows together, suck the belly in, exhale. Inhale to lift the spine and press the arms back behind you. Good, one more like that. Exhale to round, pull the belly in, press in between the shoulder blades and inhale to lift. Open up the arms, beautiful. From here, bring your right hand out behind you, fingertips pointing away. And we're gonna press into your knees, lift the hips and send your left arm up and overhead. Take a nice big back bend. Good, take a nice big inhale here. As you exhale, sit the hips down, sweep the hands across the floor in front of you and inhale to come all the way up to the other side. Lovely, from here slowly bring the hips back down. We're gonna walk your hands out in front of you, come into your tabletop. From here, we're gonna tuck the toes under very slowly. Just start to send your hips up and back into your first downward dog. Now this might be your first downward dog of the day, so feel free to pedal out through the legs. Make sure you're pressing your shoulders away from your ears. Good. Just take any little movements that you need here to get comfortable in your downward dog. And then to start to find some stillness here. So drawing the heels down towards the ground, but you can have a little bend in your knees and think about tilting your tailbone up towards the sky. Press the shoulders away from the ears, drawing your chest towards your thighs. Take a nice big inhale and a nice long exhale. And your next inhale, we're gonna come up onto your tiptoes. Tiptoe your feet all the way up to the top of the mat, nice and slow coming into your forward fold. So I want you to have a little bend in your knees here so that your belly rests on your thighs. So if you need to bend a bit deeper, feel free to do that. And then hold onto the elbows and just start to sway from side to side. You can shake your head yes, or shake your head no, releasing any tension in the neck. Just really allowing the whole upper body just to dangle over the legs. From there, bring your fingertips down to the ground. Keep a bend in your knees and as slow as you can, roll the spine all the way up to standing. Good, rippling vertebrae, that vertebrae here, all the way up. Head is the last thing that lifts. We're gonna take a nice big shoulder roll, lift them up and back. As you inhale, sweep both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, swan dive down, reach your arms out to the side and fold over the legs. As you inhale, come up halfway, fingertips either to the shins or your floor, but you want a nice straight spine here. Exhale, plant your hands down and step back, 
into your high plank, shoulders over the wrists. From here, we're gonna drop your knees down to the floor. Now we're gonna tilt your tailbone up towards the sky. So coming back into that cow pose, we're almost gonna ripple through the spine to come into our upward facing dog. So take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, bend the elbows into your sides, bring your chest down to the floor, keep the tailbone nice and high. Now as you exhale, we're gonna curl the tailbone under, ripple through the body, and come all the way up into your upward facing dog. Good, tuck the toes under, press all the way back up to your downward facing dog. Take a nice big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. When you're ready on your next inhale, we're gonna sweep your, left, your right leg up towards the sky, open up that hip, point through the toes, bend your top leg, squeeze your heel in towards your bottom. Hold in there, make sure your shoulders are still level. Take a nice big inhale, as you exhale, we're going to sweep your right leg forwards, keep it tucked in nice and close to the chest and then step it in between your hands. Keep your back knee lifted, press through the front foot, sweep both arms all the way up to the sky. Now from here, tuck your tailbone under, relax the shoulders down the spine, almost turn your pinky fingers towards each other to help draw them down the spine. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, we're going to open out to the side, drop your back heel down, coming into your warrior two. Relax through the shoulders. Take your front arm onto your front thigh. The top hand reaches up and over into your side angle pose. Press your shoulders away from your ears. Now you can either stay here today or you can bring your bottom hand down to a floor or down to a block if you have one. Make sure that arm's press, pressing into that front knee. Hold there for one more breath. Now, wherever you are, drop both hands down onto the floor and walk your fingertips all the way to the middle of the mat and turn that front toe around. I'm gonna face you so you can see what I'm doing. So we want both feet parallel to each other, coming up onto the fingertips. As you inhale, moving with the breath, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, roll down. So you're almost folding from the hips. Inhale to come up. Exhale, roll the spine down. Last one, inhale up and exhale down. This time we're going to hold. If your hands are touching the floor, you can start to walk them back in line with the feet, drawing the crown of the head down towards the ground and still lengthening from the spine. So really think about the tailbone lengthening up towards the sky. Take one more deep breath there. And then when you're ready, we're going to come all the way up onto your fingertips. Now we're going to walk your hands around to your right foot, so twist back towards the front of the mat, coming back into that low lunge. We're going to press down into your right foot, slowly sweep the arms up towards the sky. Lovely, coming back into that high lunge now. And we're going to come into your warrior three, so feel free to hop the back foot in if you need to. We're going to take a nice big inhale, exhale, lunge yourself forwards, reach your arms back behind you, lift that back leg, flex through the back toes, Roll the shoulder blades away from the ears, drawing the crown of the head forward, so back of the neck as well. Don't worry if you wobble or fall over here. Take one more breath. Lovely. As you exhale, see if you can draw the back toes all the way down to the back of the mat. Move nice and slow, almost like you're moving through honey. Inhale, sweep the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands down to the floor. Step back into your high plank. We're going to take that little spinal wave vinyasa again so as you exhale knees come down to the floor inhale tailbone lifts up high drop the belly down exhale as your chest rolls all the way down to the floor and then tuck your tailbone under ripple through the spine come all the way up into your upward dog and exhale tuck the toes press all the way back into your downward facing dog well done take a nice big inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. When you're ready, left leg is going to reach up to the sky this time. Nice big kick. Open up the hips. Bend that top leg. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, slowly sweep your knee forwards. Keep that knee close to the chest and step it in between your hands. 
press down through your front foot, reach both arms up towards the sky. Now find yourself settled here, feeling grounded, relax through the shoulders, take a nice big breath. And as you exhale, we're gonna drop your back heel down, open up the arms into your warrior two. Good, we're gonna take this front arm and bring it down onto your front thigh. Top arm reaches up and over into your side angle pose. Again, press the shoulders away from your ears. Either stay here or bring your bottom hand down to the floor. Good, really pressing into that front leg so we're opening out the hip. Take one more big breath in. And as you exhale, wherever you are, bring both hands down to the floor. Walk yourself into the middle of your mat. Both legs are straight. As you inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. This time we're going to hold on to the legs. So you can either hold on to your thighs, your calves, or if you can reach your ankles, draw the crown of your head down towards the floor. Lengthen through the spine. Notice where the weight is in your feet. Can you slightly push the weight forward towards your tiptoes? Notice how that feels in the hamstrings. Take one more deep breath there. Lovely. When you're ready, bring your fingertips back down to the floor. Come up halfway. We're going to walk your hands around towards your left foot now. Twist on your toes. And then press down into that front foot to sweep both arms all the way back up to the sky. Lovely. When you're ready, we're coming into that balance. Our, our warrior three. <laughs> Hop the back foot in. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale to sweep the arms back behind you. Lift that back leg. Roll the shoulder blades down. Flex through the back toes. Good, find that balance. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, super slowly start to draw your back toes towards the back of the mat. Good, embrace all of those little wobbles. <laughs> inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale to plant your hands down. We're gonna step back into your high plank and take that little funky vinyasa one more time. So drop the knees down. Send your tailbone up towards the sky. Elbows in as you lower your chest down to the floor. Good, find that ripple, tuck the tailbone under, roll up through to your, down, to your upward dog. And exhale, tuck the toes, press back into your downward facing dog. Good, when you're ready, drop your knees, bring your toes together, drop your heels back, drop your hips back towards your heels and bring your forehead down. Take a moment here to rest in your child's pose take a nice big breath in and a nice slow breath out take a moment just to reset the breath to find that breath again notice if you've lost it at any point during the practice and just know that that's perfectly fine just bring yourself back to it now relaxing through the shoulders taking one more breath here Lovely. Now when you're ready, you're going to come all the way back up into your downward facing dog. Just take your time super slowly. Send the hips back up. And when you're ready, you're going to sweep your right leg up to the sky. Again, open up that hip. Nice big kick. Bring your right knee towards your right wrist. Plant it down on the floor just underneath your wrist and kick that foot off to the left hand side. It doesn't have to be parallel to the mat. Just kick it up as far as you can and then shuffle your back leg all the way down to the floor. Make sure your body weight is on the, is in the center of your legs and we're not leaning off to one side. Come all the way up, take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, float the body all the way down. Now you might come onto your elbows and you might wanna stay here. Or you can walk your hands a little bit further and bring the forehead down. Again, just starting to soften into this pose. We're going to hold here for four deep breaths. Every time you exhale, just breathe into that space around the hip where you feel a little bit of tension. Maybe imagining your hip is a block of ice and every time you exhale, we're melting away at that block, layer by layer. And you allow yourself to let go a little bit more. Two more breaths here. Give yourself permission just to sink into this pose. And then nice 
nice and slowly. When you're ready, just start to walk your hands all the way back up towards the hips. Take your time. We're going to roll over onto your bent leg, swing the back leg all the way around to the front of the mat. So it's that straight in front of you. Bring your right foot into the side of your left thigh and flex through the left toes. As you inhale, sweep both arms up. As you exhale, we're going to come down halfway. So just imagine you're reaching for something really far away from you. Good. Inhale, reach all the way back up. Exhale, come down halfway again. Good. Inhale to come back up. This time we're coming down the whole way. I want you to keep that reach for as long as you possibly can before folding over the leg. Either grab a hold of your leg, your ankle, or maybe even your foot. And then relax the shoulders. Good. We want our bellies to touch our thigh here before your nose touches your knee. So if you notice that you're really, really rounded, just try to draw your chest forward. You might come up a little bit, but that's fine. You'll get a deeper stretch through the hamstring that way. Good. Take one more big breath in. And a nice slow breath out. Now very slowly again, start to roll the spine all the way back up. We're going to take your right hand out behind you, fingertips pointing away. We're going to roll up onto your right shin, point your left toes as you inhale, take a nice big swoop with that top arm, send the hips and the chest up into the sky. Take a nice big inhale and exhale to sit the hips all the way back down to the floor. Beautiful. Bring your hands out behind you, cross your legs and just make your way back into your downward dog. I don't mind how you get there, just move nice and slow. Gently making your way back into that downward facing dog. Once you're there, as you inhale, we're gonna sweep your left leg up towards the sky. Nice big kick. Bring your left knee towards your left wrist. Plant it down on the floor, kick it off to the right hand side and then slowly shuffle or wiggle that back leg all the way down the mat. Bring your hands back for a moment just to get that body weight centered and we're not rolling off to the side. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, slowly begin to walk the hands down. Again, you might come onto your elbows or you might bring your forehead down to the floor. Now you might notice that one side feels really different to the other. Maybe one side you could fold straight down and this side you feel more comfortable on your elbows. Just take whichever option your body is telling you to take. So don't push down too far here. So allow yourself to sink into this pose and almost settle into it nice and slow. Again, we're gonna take four deep breaths. Notice if there's other parts of the body that you need to release. Maybe your shoulders feel a little bit tense here. Maybe the face needs to relax. And allow your body to sink down. Two more deep breaths there. And then when you're ready, again, moving super slowly, start to walk your hands all the way back up. We're going to roll over onto your bent leg, swing that back leg all the way around without knocking anything over in your house. <laughs> and then bring that left foot in towards the thigh. We're gonna take those little halfway pulses again. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, come down halfway, nice flat back. Inhale to reach up again. Exhale, halfway. Last one, inhale to reach up. This time we're coming all the way down. Exhale, float down as if you were a leaf falling off of a tree, nice and slowly. Grab a hold of your leg, your ankle, or maybe your foot. Relax through the shoulders and then close down the eyes. Breathing into this pose, breathing deeply into the back of the leg, the hamstring. And try not to fight this pose. If you notice that you're really, really pulling yourself forward, just allow yourself almost to ease into it very slowly and use your breath to help you. So every time you inhale, maybe you lengthen the spine a little bit. And every time you exhale, maybe you allow the body to fold just a centimetre more. 
Good. Take two more breaths there. And then when you're ready, very slowly roll the spine all the way back up. We're going to point your right toes now. Left hand comes out behind you, fingertips pointing away. As you inhale, sweep the right arm all the way up. Shine your hips and your chest up towards the sky. Nice big breath in. And a nice long breath out. Slowly bring those hips all the way back down to the floor. Now when you're ready, bring both knees together and just shuffle yourself forwards so your feet are hip width distance apart. Bring your hands out in front of you, palms facing down. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, we're softly going to roll the entire body down to the ground. Imagine someone had super glued your feet to the floor. You want the bottom of your spine to reach the floor first, then your middle back, and then your upper back, and your shoulders, your head, coming all the way down to the ground. Lovely. Slowly bring the knees in towards your chest once you reach the floor. And just sway from side to side. And from here, hug the knees in a little bit tighter. And then we're going to lengthen your right leg all the way out onto the ground so it's flat on the floor. Take your right hand over to your left knee and drag that knee across the body coming into your twist. Reach your left hand out to the left hand side and then turn your head over to the left. Allow the eyes to close. And allow yourself to start to unwind from the practice. Start to let go of the practice. Maybe draw your attention and your awareness to your shoulders. Just allow them both to melt down into the floor. And if you notice one shoulder is popping up quite a bit, you might have dragged the knee across a little bit too far. So just allow yourself to ease up so you can relax the shoulders. Find comfort in this pose. Find that stillness, find that softness. And again, just bring that awareness back to the breath. Where can you feel it moving? Can you feel it in your belly, in your chest? Maybe you can just feel it coming in and out through the nose. With every exhale, just feeling the entire body feel that little bit softer, that little bit heavier on the ground. Take two more deep breaths on this side. Breathing into the belly, blow it up like a nice big balloon. And then keeping the eyes closed, nice and slowly start to rock yourself back to the center. And just bring both knees in towards the chest. Give them a nice little squeeze. Maybe even rock from side to side on your lower back. And then when you're ready this time, left leg is going to draw out towards the floor, allow it to rest on the ground. Left hand comes over to your right knee. Drag that right knee across the body. Right arm reaches out to the side. Turn your head to the right and then close down the eyes if they're not already closed. Allow the whole body to relax here. From the head all the way down to the toes, finding that softness. Allowing the awareness to rest on the breath. Noticing that slight pause at the top of the inhale, that slight pause at the bottom of the exhale, maybe lingering in those pauses for a little bit longer than you normally would. And just 
taking two more deep breaths on this side. And again, with the eyes closed, slowly bring the knees all the way back to the center. Give yourself another little hug into the chest, maybe rock from side to side. We're just going to end with a happy baby, so flexing your feet up towards the sky, grab the outside edges of your feet, press the knees down towards the ground, make sure your lower back is still flat on the floor, and maybe you gently rock from side to side like a little happy baby would do, <laughs> or maybe you just stay still. And then when you're ready, bring your knees in towards your chest, bring your forehead up towards your knees, curl up into a tiny little ball, take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, release your arms, release your legs, come to lie flat on the ground, ready for your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Draw your awareness to that space in between your eyebrows. Just soften that space. Bring your awareness to your arms and your legs, your hands and your feet. Noticing them sink into the floor a little bit deeper. And then just rest your awareness on your belly or your chest or wherever you can feel that movement of the breath. And for these next couple of moments, just allowing your attention to rest there, knowing that you have nothing left to do, nowhere else to be right now. Give yourself permission to truly let go into this pose. If you do have some more time today, I'd really recommend you spend another five or ten minutes here or as long as you need. And if you do want to get up with me, you can start by wiggling the fingers and the toes, maybe swaying the head from side to side. And just take both arms up overhead, take a nice big full body stretch. Take a moment just to enjoy this feeling in your body, this feeling that you've created. And knowing that there's no rush at all, just gently start to roll yourself over onto one side. Take a moment here on the floor just to check in with your body, how you're feeling. Just to notice this energy that you've created within yourself. And keeping the eyes closed, slowly start to press yourself up to a seated position. Any comfortable seat, just keep that nice slow movement to get there, keeping the eyes closed if you can. Bring your hands down onto the legs, sit nice and tall in the spine. As you inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, roll them back down the spine. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Bring your hands together at your heart centre. Take a moment to notice this energy you've created. Take a moment to notice if your mind feels a little bit clearer, a little bit calmer. Maybe the body feels a little bit slower and softer. And just see if you can bring this feeling and this awareness with you once you leave your mat today. Bow your head down towards your hands. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed that lovely little slow flow. <laughs> I hope to see you all again soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day.